Hi guys, welcome back to another content creation video. We're talking about Magic Eden, the number one platform on Solana for buying and selling NFTs. So I wanna make this video short and sweet. I'll try and speed run a little bit, but not go too fast, but not too slow. Just give you the basics of what to do when you're first getting started in Solana NFTs. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna connect your wallet. On the top right side, you'll see connect wallet. All you gotta do is click it once and it'll bring up either Phantom or Glow. For this video, I'll be using Glow. In the previous video, we actually talked about how to set up a Phantom wallet. So if you need that, feel free to click that video above. So next thing is, it'll say, hey, we'd like to connect your wallet. All you have to do is hit connect. Boom, you're in. That's the hardest part. Next thing is at the very top, it'll say how much Solana we've done in the past 24 hours. So <clears throat> 70K, pretty insane. Um, Solana's price is $34.95 currently, and the TPS is currently around 27. That basically just means how fast the Solana network is doing and if it's congested or not. So first thing is you will look at the popular collections on the left hand side. This will basically bring you what people are buying currently at this moment and what is kind of moving the market right as of five minutes. So the top three projects people are buying right now are ABC, Cats on Crack, Puggin Awesome, Board Ape, Solana Club, and Day Stucks. And also it shows you how many sales. So right now there have been five sales at an average of five, point three soul and they'll also give you the total amount and you can kind of just see what people are buying the crazy thing is you can go from five minutes all the way down to 30 minutes moving on we'll be going over drop calendar this is where all the nfts will be dropping this is a great site to see what's upcoming personally i do not suggest minting anything because every time a project gets minted it actually goes below floor and you're actually able to get it on secondary or on Magic Eden cheaper, and you're able to choose which NFT you want. But this basically just shows you what NFTs are minting, and a lot are minting on Magic Eden or their own platform. Basically, their own website, they're able to mint the NFTs. Another big one is Launch My NFT. That's mainly for more DGEN plays. This is a great place to see more quality nfts a great thing to also look at is their twitter so they have their twitter and their discord link i feel like if they have a website like let's see these guys they have a website a twitter and a discord that's always great to see definitely check out their twitter every single time you want to mint to see how their activity is last but not least is going to be auctions Percy really won't go into this that much, mainly just one on one pieces that you can bid. Currently, this piece is called Holy. You can see it right here. Current bid is 29 Soul or 1K in USDC. Basically, just more of stats on what people are buying for the most part. Obviously, it does change. So, if we went to five minutes, we could also go to, let's say, 30 days. So, in the, <laughs> in the last 30 days, D Gods have done a total of 120k soul volume. Flipping insane. Why this is happening is they're getting ready for their Utes or their Gen 2, which is a 15k collection and you can only pay in dust. So that's why people are buying D Gods. I could easily see them. So right now their floor price is 400. I could easily see them going to 5 to 600 soul floor price before they do the Utes. And on the right hand side, you can see Marketplace. This will actually show you where all the monies can be flown into. So there's Magic Eden, which is number one. Exchange Art is a place for 101 artists. It's a great website to check out if you're looking to get 101 pieces. 101 pieces in the future will be very big. So I personally do love Exchange Art. Same with Hyperspace is really great. And there's also a lot more products and websites, which we'll be able to show you in future videos. Next big one is Coral Cube. I will also be making a video on Coral Cube. Why do you prefer it over Magic Eden? Magic Eden is just the main site for Solana, which everybody uses. I personally use it for day trading, which I will show you soon. Okay, next on the list will be Launchpad. This is basically just where you're able to mint NFTs or if they're launching with Magic Eden. So right now, if you just scroll down a little bit, it'll say, hey, these NFT projects are live and I'll say how many pieces there are along with the price of it. So if you click on it, 
sometimes they have you have to have the whitelist or they're in public so this is a great example it says whitelist you cannot mint public will be ready in about 17 hours and 15 minutes once that's up you'll be able to hit mint connect it approve and you'll be able to mint one of these I feel like this is a great way to get started at NFTs, but always do your own research and always research projects before minting. Next thing is actually really cool magic, and I feel like a lot of people still know about this. It's called Eden Games. So there's a lot of blockchain games actually coming to Solana or blockchain in general, and you're actually able to play on Magic Eden. So the ones I've been playing, which I have a lot of fun, is actually Double Jump. Double Jump is kind of like Fall Guys, a little bit more intense. They have really fun levels and it's on Solana and you don't need an NFT to play. Some of these you do need an NFT to play. Another one I love playing is Panzer Dogs. You're, you're a dog inside a tank and you have to fight other people and kill them with a, like a really animated tank. It's super fun. I like it. But obviously you can see there's tons of games. So definitely check them out. Also Catch Kings is super fun. Um, it just reminds me of that RuneScape vibe, which I just love so much and adore. For the most part, that's the entire thing of Magic Eden. The thing I just wanted to show you is basically like how to look at your profile and see what is happening. So basically, if you look in the top right, this is where your wallet's at. You can click it, then you can hit view profile. So this is my day trading profile. So this is where I buy and sell NFTs because day trading is still very, very big in Solana. Um, it does take a little bit to load. Also depends on your internet speed, but this is what my wallet looks like right now. These are the ones I do not have listed. So this is where it gets a little confusing when you're first getting into it. But these are all the NFTs that I have bought and I'm waiting to sell. I bought DGen dummies around 0.32. Also, if you do hold flipping rabbits, I'm the, one of the main alpha callers for them. So I find projects that look like they'll be doing very good. I do research for you, say, hey, this project looks like it'll probably pump because I did this, 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 and here's why. Um, yeah, so it looks like it paid off. So if you bought that at 0.32, you're already up a crap ton, which is great. Uh, they did peak around 0.94. Um, looking to have these hit around one sold or later and then sell for a nice little profit. Uh, currently, all of my NFTs are about 23 sold and 69 cents. So this is where it gets confusing. There's my items and listed items. So if you click on listed items, I'll actually show you the items that are listed. For the most part, I have been buying items and listing them and just kind of waiting till they sell. So these are all uh, NFTs that I'm waiting to list. A lot of them won't go any place. Uh, we'll also be making a future video down the line of how to burn NFTs that basically are just sitting in your wallet and they'll never sell and you have no idea what to do with them. So I look forward to making that video. So what we'll be doing is we'll be going into NFT projects. So you're actually able to go to the very top and you, and you can type anything that you want. Um, so we'll just be going off of ones that I've been slowly accumulating. So pixel bots, I've been slowly accumulating. Also, they're crazy cheap. They're only 0 0.04, kind of a degen play. But I just wanna show you the process of how to buy NFT and what you can do. So you can either buy, bid, or sweep. And it'll say, hey, so you wanna buy this NFT for 0 0.46. We're like, yes, I would like to buy this NFT. And then it loads, it says, hey, you're buying this NFT, just to make sure, hit approve. And boom, then it'll say, actually on it right there, sold, you're good to go. And I'll show you actually how to bid. So if you click on details of the NFT, it'll come up like this, and you're actually able to go right here and say, make an offer. So right here, you can do like, let's do like, Point. So just a little bit below, I can hit it, say, hey, I want this offer to be valid for seven days. Hit make offer. I'll say, hey, you're making this offer just to make sure, approve. And then we'll actually take that Solana out of the account. And now we just wait. So if they don't accept the offer, we can always, it will go back into your account. Uh, the cool thing is uh, Magic Ian is getting bigger and faster. So you're, you're actually able to pay with Ethereum if you do want. Most people won't, uh, but they will slowly be adding more Ethereum projects to Magic Eden, which is very exciting. You can also use a credit card 
to buy NFT. So if you're not really sure about it and you just want to use a credit card and you're not wanting to swap all to Solana, you can use that too. Also, just always do your own research. And I just want to say thank you so much for watching the video. I'll catch you on the flip to be flip.